Hello everyone, this is Jay Karina here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equation. So we are given a differential equation of order 2 and we are going to solve this using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem solve. 2x square plus 1 into y double dash minus 4x y dash plus 4y equal to 0 given y equal to x is a solution. So here we are given a differential equation and also given y equal to x is a solution. So we are given y equal to x so it is not necessary to find complementary function of the given equation using inspection method. Okay, given differential equation. square plus 1 into y double dash minus 4x y dash plus 4y equal to 0. Now let's make the equation of y double dash to unity. For that purpose we'll divide the whole equation with 2x square plus 1 or multiply whole equation with 1 by 2x square plus 1 or you can split this equation into two I mean LHS equals to RHS form and then you can Divide both sides of the equation with 2x square plus 1 or multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by 2x square plus 1. Okay. So I'll write directly y double dash minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 into y dash plus 4y 2x square plus 1 into y equal to 0. Now consider it as equation number 1. Compare 1 with standard form of linear equation in y okay second order equation y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to some r we have p equal to minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 and 2 equal to 4 by 2x square plus 1 and r equal to 0. Therefore, y equal to x is the solution is the solution of 1 which is given, right? Let y equal to here we are given y equal to x is the solution of 1 so you will be x okay we are having u equal to x let's find derivative of u with respect to x now differentiate on both sides with respect to x we'll get du by dx equal to derivative of x with respect to x is 1 right so when u equal to x du by dx equal to 1 fine let u equal to sorry let y equal to u be be the general solution of 1. Already we are having u. Here we need to find v. So we will find u v using the formula or the equation. Then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider as equation number 2. Now substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in equation 2. Then from this equation we will get capital V and later from capital V we will find small v and then we will substitute u v in this y equal to u v to find the general solution of our given equation okay then the above equation becomes d square v by dx square plus p minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 plus 2 by u. u is x into du by dx is 1 into dv by dx equal 
equal to r by u. Then d square u by dx square plus minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 plus 2 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Now we can write the above equation as d square v by dx square plus write the term involving plus sign and then go for the term with minus sign into dv by dx equal to 0. Let dv by dx equals to capital V then d square v by dx square will be d capital V by dx. Now the above equation becomes dv by dx plus 2 by x minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 into v equal to 0. Now separate the variables. Then this equation becomes dv by dx equal to minus of 2 by x minus 4x by 2x square plus 1 into v. Now bring this v to LHS and take this differential dx to RHS. We'll get 1 by v dv equal to minus 2 by x plus 4x by 2x square plus 1 into differential dx. Then 1 by v dv equal to minus 2 by x dx plus 4x by 2x squared plus 1 into dx. Now we can perform integration since the variables are separable. Integral 1 by v dv equal to minus 2 into integral 1 by x dx plus integral 4x by 2x squared plus 1 into dx. So you have not taken the constant outside the integral here. We know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equal to log mod f of x, right? If f of x equals to 2x squared plus 1, then f dash of x will be 4x plus 0 or which is equals to 4x, right? Then integral f dash of x, 4x by f of x, 2x squared plus 1 into dx will be log mod 2x squared plus 1 or log 2x squared plus 1. Right. Also, we know that integral 1 by x dx equal to log mod x or log x. Now, this becomes log v equal to minus 2 log x plus log 2x squared plus 1. See, we, are, we are have if f of x is 2x squared plus 1, then f dash of x is 4x. So, in order to apply this formula, we have not taken this 4, that is a constant outside the integral, okay? Plus integral constant C1. Since all the three terms are in log, so we'll write this constant C1 as log C1. Then log V equal to minus, we can write 2 log X as, since we know that M log N equal to log N power M, then we can write minus 2 log X as just, 2 log x as log x square plus log 2x square plus 1 plus log c1. Since we know that log a plus b equals to log a plus log b equal to log a b. Then we can write log 2x plus 1 plus log c as log c1 into 2x squared plus 1. Okay, this becomes 
log b equal to minus log x square plus log c1 into 2x square plus 1. And we can write the above equation as log b equal to log c1 into 2x square plus 1 minus log x square. Since we know that log a minus log b equal to log a by b, then the above equation becomes log b equal to log c1 of 2x square plus 1 by x square. Since we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b. So from that we'll get b equal to c1 into 2x square plus 1 by x square. Now we can split this fraction as v equal to c1 into See, you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this fraction into two fractions. 2x squared by x squared plus 1 by x squared. Then, v equal to c1 into here. x squared gets cancelled from the first term. We will get 2 plus. Since we know that 1 by x power n can be written as x power minus n. So, we can write 1 by x squared as x power minus 2. Okay. Now, Replace this v by dv by dx. We got capital V, right? Now we are going to find small v. dv by dx equal to c1 into 2 plus x power minus 2. Now take the differential dx to RHS. We will get dv equal to c1 into 2 plus x power minus 2 into dx. Then dv equal to c1 into or 2 into c1 into dx plus c1 into x power minus 2 into dx. Here the variables are separable so we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to 2 c1 integral dx plus c1 integral x power minus 2 dx. Since we know that integral dx equals to x and integral x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equal to minus 1. Right? So here we are having x power minus 2 for n equal to minus 2. We can apply this formula because here we are having n equal to minus 2, right? Which is not equal to minus 1, right? Then we'll get v equal to 2c1 into x plus c1 into x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c2. Then v equal to 2c1x plus c1 into x power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 1 plus c2. Then v equal to 2c1x plus c1 into we can write this equation as 1 by minus 1. I mean this fraction as 1 by minus 1 into x power minus 1 plus c2, right? Then v equal to 2c1x plus c1 into 1 by minus 1 can be written as minus 1 into x inverse can be written as 1 by x plus c2. Now V becomes 2C1X plus into minus minus C1 into 1 by X plus C2. So we got V and already we have U which is equal to X. So let's write the general solution using Y equal to UV. Therefore, The general solution is given by y equal to u into v. Then y equal to u, you are having x into v is 2c1x minus c1 into 1 by x plus c2, right? Which is equal to 2c1x square minus c1 into x by x plus c2x. x gets cancelled from the second term. We'll get 2c1x square minus c1 into 1 
plus c to x or just take c1 common from the first two terms we'll get c1 times 2x square minus 1 plus c2 x which is the required solution so we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye